In order to amplify the voices of children and teens and social justice work, the CMO and the Arts Council of Southwest Indiana joining forces. Nate McDix is here to tell us about it. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. I'm so happy to be back in person. I know. So I know. You know. We're just around the corner from each other. I know. And, and we so occasionally run into each other at the gym. But <laughs> occasionally. occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> Less than for me like that, than in the past. But it's good to see you, and I'm excited this event is back. Yes, we're so happy to have it back in person as well. Um, you know, the, the, like, like you said, the march is to amplify the voices of children, teens, youth in the community about the most pressing issues they face in their homes, their schools, their communities. Um, the theme every year is, is love, not hate. And we, we, we do our best to focus on, on the positive. Um, but I, I, I think it's so important that we never forget its origins. Um, you know, we have a tendency, I think, especially as white people, to think that racism is, is something of the past. It's, right. it's, well, we've seen it really this in the past two years in a way that we haven't seen it. Absolutely. Forever. Um, five years ago, there was, there was a photo that went viral of, of children uh, acting out racial violence. Mm -hmm. um, and we felt we were uniquely positioned to, to tackle it head on. Um, it, it, you know, it's no surprise to say 2020, 2021 is a crazy, crazy time. Yes. And we figured the last thing these kids needed was more adults to tell them how to feel or how to experience it. And we wanted to give them a platform uh, to share how they would go about bringing more love and less hate into our community. Well, how will that look? Because I know art is a big part of it, which Absolutely. is why the Arts Council is involved. Absolutely. Uh, so this year, um, at 2 o'clock, it's on uh, November 7th, we're actually going to be in the Evansville Museum's atrium. Um, the Arts Council is, is so wonderful. They're going to be supplying all sorts of art supplies to make posters, signs, all of that. Um, we'll then transition down to the Four Freedoms Monument. We'll have a brief rally. Um, we're so lucky the Boom Squad is going to be back again I this year. I love the Boom love Squad. The boom you, squad. you get fired up when you hear the Boom Absolutely. Squad. Absolutely. Um, and then they'll lead us down uh, Main Street on the march, ending in front of the Civic Center. Um, all of those signs, all of those posters, we collect and we display them within the museum. Um, we've also put out a call for art. Uh, so whatever that looks like to you, we've had Lego sculptures, we've had uh, photography, paintings, poems. Um, but again, what, whatever that means to bring about love and less hate, and that'll be in our art exhibit that, that accompanies the march as well. So the, for the parents, grandparents, and caregivers who are watching today, how do they sign up their young person? There, you don't have to sign up. You, you can, show up. You just it's show up. It's a show up. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, feel free to drop that art off at the museum at any time. Um, but yeah, the, again, the, the march is, is free to attend, no registration or anything along those lines, and we'd, we'd be more than happy for people to join us. I would be hoping that some of the local schools would be talking about the topic so kids can kind of wrap their heads around where they would go. And I, I can't wait to see what they dream up because oh, absolutely. they're it's, always brilliant. It's always fascinating to see what they come up with. Um, again, not to, to, to dwell on anything negative, but it was after that unfortunate shooting in Pittsburgh at the, at the Tree of Life Synagogue, um, the banner that led the Children's March, I believe, in 2019. Uh, all the kids signed and decorated and drew on, and that was actually sent off to the Pittsburgh Children's Museum as well. Oh, how so, so the impact of the march just continues to grow. Um, the Evansville Library is going to have brand, or, uh, displays in all of their branches um, about books, about children's civic engagement. So these conversations can continue at home with their parents as well. Well, may they do better with the world than we have done. Let's hope Thanks, so. Nate, Let's so hope. much. And assign your young people up or show up. Yes, show up. absolutely.